I thank them for enriching my young life with the arts. Garth Fagan is smart, witty, and overall just a funny guy. Here we go! <laughs> He's a man with an extraordinary talent and had a vision for something that changed modern dance forever. He was born in Kingston, Jamaica on May 3, 1940, to two well-educated parents who had a passion for the arts, particularly opera. But at first, Fagan didn't always enjoy it as a child. They would drag me to lunch or concerts. I hated them because I had to sit still and pay attention. And then when some fat lady or gentleman was singing and the two of them would start weeping, you just see tears come. I said, well, this has got to be good. I don't get it, but this is be good. And it was in that moment that changed the mindset of Fagan forever. Well, finally, after quite a few trips, I got it. He decided to pursue a career in the arts and specialize in dance, encountering racism along the way. At NEA said some horrible things about she doesn't know why black people are going into all these psychological dances and familial dances when it would be so nice just to entertain because they do such a good job of that. And honey, I laid into her. And I said, for someone teaching at one of the most prestigious schools of the arts, that is the most racist statement I've ever heard. But comments like that didn't stop him. After graduating from Wayne State University in Detroit, he then established his own dance company here in Rochester, New York. Garth Fagan Dance. And it's here at the Garth Fagan Dance Studio where all of the magic began. Fagan had a dream for something so spectacular and now a dance studio where dancers can come in and achieve their dreams. One hand you can count the modern dance companies that have lasted 45 years or more and we are one of those, you know. So I'm very proud of that. And how can you blame him after the studio has had so much success? In fact, under Fagan's lead, he has choreographed numerous productions. His most popular one, The Lion King. I got every award possible from around the world. The Tony, of course, the Olivier from London, which not too many people in America get. He's helped up-and-coming dancers in our area achieve their goals too. His advice for anyone trying to pursue their dreams? Discipline. Discipline is freedom. And it's that discipline that propelled him to the top. So take note and expect more from Fagan because he's not just the man behind the moves, he's a man on the move. In Rochester, Elijah Westbrook.